Okay, since the left hand is fairly simple, let's go over that first. We're going to start by finding a C. To find the C, look for two black notes in a row, and the C is the white note directly to the left of the leftmost black note. Okay, the C that we want is the third one up from the bottom of the keyboard. Okay, so we're going to play that C with our pinky or finger number five. Now after playing that C with our pinky, we are then going to play an E with finger three and a G with finger five. Okay, so we're going to play C and then E and G. And we're going to play that E and G twice. So it's C, E, G, E, G. And with the finger numbers, finger five, and then three and one, three and one. And we're going to do that four times. So it's. From there, we're going to change from playing a C with finger five to a D with finger four. Okay, and then after the D, we're going to play an F with finger two and a G with finger one. And again, we're going to play that twice. So it's D, F, G, and again. Finger four, two and one, two and one. And we're going to play that four times as well. Okay, so from the beginning, we have C, E, G, four times, and then D, F, G, four times. And we're going to finish this part by going to a B with our pinky or finger number five. That's the last note we're going to play for today. Okay, let's play the whole left hand part. One more time. Okay, now let's add in the right hand. The right hand is going to start on a middle C. Middle C is the fourth one up from the bottom of the keyboard, and it's the C directly to the right of the one we were playing in the left hand. So we were playing this C in the left hand, just go to the next C, and that's the one we're going to start with in our right hand. Okay, so we're going to play C with our thumb or finger number one, followed by E with finger number two, and G with finger number three. Okay, so it's C, E, G, and G one more time with finger three. Now when we play that last G, that's when the left hand comes in. So we're going to play the C in our left hand at the same time that we play that G, like this. Okay, and then we're going to release the G, and when we release the G, we're going to play the second part of the left hand. Like that. So we have. Okay, now from here, remember the left hand is going to play that E and G a second time, and at the same time we play that, we're also going to play an E and G with our right hand, but up a little higher with fingers three and five. Now it's not in the octave we were just playing, which would be here, it's one octave higher. So just looking at the right hand for a second, C, E, G, G, and then it's E and G up here with fingers three and five. And that E and G is going to play twice. So we have And notice the second time we play this E and G, the left hand is going back to the C. So we have. Okay, so. And then the left hand is going to play the E and G again by itself. All right, so so far we have. 
And then when we play this E and G again, the right hand is going to play a C and E with fingers one and three. So the right hand by itself, just for a second. E and G twice, and then C and E twice. And now bringing back the left hand. Okay, again. And then when we hit this E and G again, we come back to the C. Okay, so. And then we're going to play what we just played again in the right hand, but this time the left hand is active. So both C's together. And then when we go to the E in the right hand, it's E and G in the left. And then again the E and G with the G. From the beginning. Now after that, remember the left hand is going to change to a D. When the left hand changes to this D, the right hand is going to play an F and a G at the same time with fingers two and three. So. D in the left hand, F and G in the right hand. From the beginning. And then the right hand will release while the left hand plays F and G as well, just like the right hand did, but of course, lower on the keyboard. From the beginning. And now when we play the F and G for the second time with the left hand, the right hand is also going to play F and G, but an octave higher this time, and we're going to use fingers three and four. And it's going to play that twice. So we have, just with the right hand. Okay, from the beginning. Okay, notice that it plays the F and G together with the F and G. And then the second time, it's with a D in the left hand. After the F and G, the right hand is then going to play B and F with fingers one and three two times. So we have. And now B and F with fingers one and three. And then B and F again with the D in the left hand. All right, so we have. And now we go to a B with finger number one in the right hand. Notice it's to the left of the C that we started with. One note to the left. Let's take it up to there. Okay, and now the right hand is going to play B, B, D with finger two, A with finger five, and A again. So B, B, D, A, A from the beginning. B, B and D, D with the 
F and G. Okay, so again. And then the last time we play this A, the left hand is going to go to that final B that we learned earlier. And that's where we'll stop for today. Okay, let's play the whole thing through. Now, I like to add a little pedal to this song. That's a creative choice. The song wasn't originally written for the piano. Some people like to use pedal, some don't. Uh, people also make different arrangements of this song. I'm doing a very simple one. Okay, so let's do it again, and I'm going to add a little bit of pedal. You can decide for yourself how much or how little pedal you would like to add. 